What's up, everybody? We're going to jump right into the action here. As you can see, I am a Crusader in the new Diablo expansion. I wasn't going to play it because normally I'm into um, Path of Exile, but I couldn't ignore the fact that this game has been completely improved across the board since the last time I played it. And I'm here to show you guys the skill set that I've been using to get me to this point. It's worked fairly well. Uh, I've also been power leveled, so I'm a little behind the power curve, but not not too too bad to where I can't function as you can see I'm, I'm not having a terrible time with this guy I did have a little trouble here because I ran into a, uh, a blue elite pack before I landed on this guy so it's a little bit overwhelming at first but obviously nothing a crusader can't handle and if he would ever die drop a tornado on him real quick oh quit bitching you'll be fine and he's dead and I almost died. But anyways, like I was saying, they completely fixed this game. I, it's been about a year since I played it. I quit fairly early. I was in the the beginning rush of people that beat or made it all the way to 60 and then ran into the Act 2 wall. And anybody that ran into that will know exactly what I'm talking about. But with all the new fixes they've done in the new Crusader class, there's absolutely no reason to be not playing this game because it's just as fun as it used to be without any of the bugs that are going on. So without further ado, we'll jump into what I've been using and what I imagine will be a pretty common build. It gets the job done very well. But my primary is Smite attached with Reaping. So it's basically just for life gain. You know what I mean? You go in there, you Smite, you get five Wraith, uh, Wrath excuse me, per stack, and you do you know your regular, regular primary damage. Nothing too special about that. My main DPS is coming from a Blessed Hammer mixed with Thunderstruck. This does a whole bunch of damage. So this is really fun too because it brings back, you know, the old Hammered in that we used to use in Diablo 2, which is a ton of fun. Bombardment, I'm going to eventually be using probably Targeted or uh, this one, excuse me, Impactful Bombardment because it does just a ton of damage. You can see 3,320 damage. It's ridiculous. But either way, right now I use uh, Annihilate because it does 100% critical. So that's a lot of fun to use. I enjoy watching that. A steed with endurance, nothing, nothing fancy about that. You're gonna love your horse, that's for sure. This thing is just an absolute blast, and plus it has a funny attachment called Drawn Quarter, where you can attach to people and drag them around the map. So that's fun to use. Uh, I'm using Law of Hope right now just to take a little extra damage. Actually, when this build is done, I plan on using uh, Law of Valor with Critical, just to get a little more DPS in there, and Heaven's Fury with uh, Ascendancy. It does a little extra more holy damage there and gets me some life leech. I and everybody else in the world is going to be using Heavenly Strength. Super easy choice there. Gives you a little extra uh, movement speed, but makes it so you can uh, use that two-handed weapon that everybody's going to be using. Additional Wrath, because that's important. And right now I just get a little extra attack speed. When I get to 70, I'll probably be using Finery, which gives you the extra 66 strength for every gem you have socketed, which is just insane. It's like basically an extra socket for everything you have. So... That's what the build's going to look like. To give you guys an idea of what your gear is going to look like when you get into this area. Other than this guy, which is brand new, which is actually pretty good. And we can do without the damage. But uh, nothing too fancy. This is just the new act gear, whether it's created or found. Nothing that you would write home about, but everything is just an upgrade. I found this in, I want to say, Master doing Act 2. Just running through it real quick so I could try and keep up with the level cap. So, not too bad. And I got enough uh, a life steal to keep me alive. But either way, that's how I feel about the game. I feel like everybody should be playing it. And I'll try and get some more videos out there like the final boss and stuff so you guys can see what's going on. And hopefully you're playing the game with me and hopefully you're enjoying as much as I am. Thanks for watching and if you like the video, feel free to subscribe. Thanks.